Dear viewers, today we welcome you to a further media commentary addressing the new school curriculum plan of the state government in Stuttgart, Germany. We are reporting from the Palace Square in Stuttgart, where many citizens have come together to demonstrate against this curriculum. Already on January the 11th, Klagemauer TV reported that the government of Baden-Württemberg wants to put the subject acceptance of sexual diversity on the new curriculum plan. This curriculum will be introduced in 2015 and is valid for 10 years. Mr. Gabriel Stengler started a petition to the state legislature because this subject is intended to be a central key component of all five guiding principles of the new curriculum and not only a side issue. This petition, which caused vehement debates in the media, ended Monday, the 27th of January. Mr. Stengel could deliver the impressive sum of 192,000 signatures to the head of the petition committee, Beate Bohlen. However, anybody who might have thought that with this action the protests would level off is quite mistaken. The controversial curriculum plan continues to engage the people of Baden-Württemberg who form new demonstrations against it on a larger basis. For independently of Mr. Stengler and the initiators of the petition, other citizens of Baden-Württemberg have called for a protest against the curriculum plan 2015. Under the motto, against the indoctrination of our children, stop the curriculum plan 2015, they have gathered together here today on the Palace Square in downtown Stuttgart to continue voicing their concern. In a press release, concerned parents wrote, we think the subject, sexual diversity as a pillar and leading principle of the curriculum 2015, is being given too much room. In light of the fact that tolerance of the LGBTIQ lifestyle is already integrated into the current curriculum, we feel this is massive compulsory indoctrination when primary school children already are confronted with the various forms of living together of and with LGBTIQ lesbian, gay, bi, trans, inter and queer. We think it is wrong when our children only learn about the classical family as one of many family forms. But let's ask the people ourselves now what moved them to even take to the streets to demonstrate after the petition has ended. My statement, the government should hold back concerning child rearing and influence less. The children belong to the parents, and raising them is their constitutional right. That's why I'm here. It stinks that the majority is ignored, and a minority dis determines what the rules should be. It doesn't work like that. I'm against that they teach our little kids such things already so early in school. We don't want that our kid is confronted with this so-called early sexualization. Yeah, I'm the mom of four kids, and I just have extreme misgivings that when this new curriculum plan comes into effect in 2015, I just think this, this could really, really heavily damage our kids. Mr. Fromm, we are interested in hearing from you why you initiated this demonstration today. We initiated this demonstration because after the online petition, the state government has not moved a millimeter from its position and continues to disregard and violate the parents' basic rights, which is guaranteed to us in our constitution. That's why we're demonstrating here today that our voice as parents is heard. We want the right to raise our children ourselves, not the politicians. On the internet page of the association Queer, which is closely linked with lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, transgender, intersexual and queer groups, you find statements like this, I would forbid those homo haters to demonstrate and if necessary enforce it ruthlessly with arms. These backward idiots finally have to be put in their place. And what do you say about such quotes? Yeah, that really hurts me, but it's also shocking, it leaves me speechless, because such people have no understanding of democracy and they have not understood why we are demonstrating, what we're demonstrating for. We're not demonstrating for intolerance, we are demonstrating against the enforced acceptance of sexual diversity.
Im Grundgesetz der In the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Germany it says, raising children is the natural right of the parents and first and foremost their duty. Article 6, Paragraph 2. When the topic of sexual diversity in connection with raising children leads to such divisions in our society, then is it not advisable to reflect again on that which the fathers of our Constitution in wise foresight put down on paper? With this question we say goodbye from Stuttgart and wish you a good evening.